Welcome to Intelin TV. We are today at the Open World Forum, which opened its doors in Paris. And I'm pleased to receive uh, Jamie Ayer, who is marketing director of Adacor, a company which uh, is doing developing tools for open source uh, softwares. So, Jamie, Linux is 20 years old. 20 years old today. Mm -hmm. And what is uh, the what is it for you? What is it on your point of view? I think it's uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think Linux uh, closely mirrors um, the uh, evolution of the uh, general open source uh, or free software communities. Um, I think there's been a real um, take up by the professional community. Um, I think there's also been uh, a huge take up of open source technology um, by a lot of people that don't realize it's open source, which is good because that means that the quality of the open source technology uh, is, is, is at least as good as proprietary software. Um, and if I look at projects that Ada Core are very, very uh, closely involved with, so for example, the GCC uh, or the GNU uh, compiler collection, um, which I think now is, is, is over 20 years old, but it has brought together some of the world's biggest companies uh, and smaller companies like Ada Core um, to work in a collaborative way to advance as a whole the technology of uh, the, the GNU uh, compiler collection. So I think it's, a, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so Ada Core is a 20-year-old company. So what, has been, what have been the major achievements of Ada Core in this field? Right, um, that's a very, very good question. Um, I think we've been we've been helped along by uh, a benefactor that many wouldn't think would be a huge open source supporter, uh, and that's the Department of Defense in the U.S. Um, because AdaCore came uh, from a research project based around the Ada 95 programming language, uh, sponsored by the DoD, um, and they said that they would like the technology to be as freely available to everybody as possible. So right from the beginning, we adopted uh, a free software license. Uh, and from that, um, we've been able to create a successful business model. Um, so I think for us, the real challenges have been um, working on our business model, uh, growing the technology, keeping the company um, in, a, in, in the line that we want it to follow so that we don't grow too quickly, uh, we don't accept the first bit of uh, uh, investment, exterior investment, um, so that ultimately, uh, you know, 17 years down the line, we have a tool set that is extremely solid uh, and, 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 and a good product for customers. And so you have an office in Paris, so how do That's you right. feel in Paris regarding <laughs> the open source community? Fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I can remember when I first joined Adacore uh, nearly 10 years ago now, um, we uh, have always been a huge supporter of the April. Uh, association okay. um, and I can remember going to meetings with uh, people like Frédéric Couchet uh, who has been a real uh, you know spearhead in the uh, in the uh, defense and, and 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 the promotion if you like of free software and there weren't that many people around in those days um, and now it's just fantastic to see that you know events like this that I think uh, that they were saying there were 2,000 people coming to this event. Yeah. I just think it's absolutely wonderful. And I think as well from a uh, European point of view, open source is clearly uh, a competitive advantage um, to, to, to push the software that we're developing uh, around the globe. And you feel very comfortable in Paris. I love Paris. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day.